Thank you for your purchase of the MASH TTMA 200 trailer truck mounted attenuator from Gregory Highway. We are committed to providing our customers with highway safety products offering the best performance and value for your money, as well as the highest level of customer service. The TTMA 200 is the latest addition in our highway safety products line. It is a MASH 2016 test level three crash cushion designed for use with a support truck in both stationary and moving work zones. The TTMA 200 is nearly identical to the predecessor TTMA 100, which was one of the most innovative TMAs in the market. The TTMA 200 can be equipped to most vehicles 10,000 pounds or heavier in your fleet within a matter of minutes. It has successfully passed all required crash tests set forth by MASH 2016 and is eligible for use on the national highway system by the Federal Highway Administration eligibility letter CC-152. Versatility, repairability, and ease of use are the keys to the TTMA 200. We believe you'll find the TTMA 200 a great value for your short or long-term work zone solution. The TTMA 200 user manual is a guide for operators through the operation and maintenance of the TTMA 200. Please read and understand the recommendations contained in this manual thoroughly before using the TTMA 200 and keep the manual available for future reference. If you have any questions or comments regarding the operation and or maintenance of this product, please contact us or visit our website at www.gregoryhighway.com. The TCMA 200 user manual is divided into several key sections. Please use the user manual to understand the design, how it works, operation, and maintenance of the TTMA 200. Let's talk about TMAs and TTMAs. First, we must understand that there are two different types of truck mounted attenuators in the market today. First, there are TMAs or truck mounted attenuators. These attenuators are permanently affixed to the host shadow vehicle. This means wherever the host vehicle goes, the TMA goes along with it. Trailer truck mounted attenuators or TTMAs are tow behind vehicles that are affixed to the host vehicle using a standard panel hitch. These impact attenuators can be used on a variety of different vehicles and can be rotated throughout your fleet in a matter of minutes. Trailer truck mounted attenuators eliminate the need for a dedicated vehicle to deploy the impact attenuator and does not require permanent attachment to the host or shadow vehicle. Both truck mounted attenuator and trailer truck mounted attenuator are ideal solutions to protecting mobile and stationary work zones. Let's take a look at some of the similarities and differences of these two types of attenuators. Truck mounted attenuators, TMA. TMAs can be deployed in both stationary and mobile work zones. TMAs are ideal for situations that require the unit to operate in reverse for example, to pick up traffic cone patterns. Typically, TMAs require a dedicated truck for the unit to be deployed. This means that the TMA is not usable when the host vehicle is out of service or disabled. TMAs have been known to be difficult to mount and dismount. Most TMAs must be raised for high-speed travel. When the TMA is raised, clearance issues may arise due to the TMA extending higher than the top of the tow vehicle. Traffic control devices such as arrow boards or message boards must be mounted on the truck rather than on the TMA itself. And TMAs also carry a higher investment cost, requiring a greater investment of money, time, and effort. Trailer truck mounted attenuators, TTMA. TTMAs can be de deployed in both stationary and mobile work zones. TTMAs are ideal for forward moving mobile operations. Attaches to the support vehicle using a standard pintle hitch with a minimum rating of eight tons. 
The TTMA 200 requires a minimum weight vehicle of 10,000 pounds, but other TTMAs may require a different weighted tow vehicle based upon how they were tested to the MASH standards. Please always check your user manual to determine the necessary weight required for your tow vehicle. Typically, no mounting hardware is needed. Use with any truck meeting the weight requirements and with the proper hitch. The TTMA 200 requires no modification to the tow vehicle. TTMAs can be towed at highway speeds, thus eliminating the need to raise the unit during transport. The mounting and dismounting times are significantly reduced due to the single point attachment of the TTMAs. TTMAs provide continuous protection while TMAs offer no crash protection when, the, when they're in the raised position. Easily attach arrow boards and variable message signs directly to the design framework on the TTMA. Most importantly, TTMAs eliminate the need for a dedicated host vehicle, thus making protecting, making protecting your work zone easier to set up. Simply hook up the TTMA to a properly weighted tow vehicle in minutes and you're off to the work site. Now that we have a better understanding of the differences between truck mounted attenuators and trailer truck mounted attenuators, let's take a look at the general specifications of the TTMA 200. The TTMA 200 is an open frame design and is manufactured from galvanized steel tube. The open frame design makes the TTMA 200 easy to maintain, operate, and repair. With no cartridges in the design, the TTMA 200 utilizes the A-frame and energy absorbing tube technology to offer superior protection to your work zones at a significantly lower cost than comparable cartridge-based designs. Let's take a look at how the TTMA 200 is constructed. The overall length from lunette ring to impact head is 23 feet 6 inches and the overall width is 8 feet. Measuring from the ground to the top of the fender is 3 feet 1 inch and from the top from the ground to the top of the light bar is 43 inches. The TTMA 200 yields a ground clearance of approximately 12 inches from the ground to the skid plates on the impact head. Note the TTMA 200 should be towed as parallel to the ground as possible and be within plus or minus one inch of the required 12 inch ground clearance. This will allow the TTMA 200 to perform at the highest level when impacted. The TTMA 200 when equipped with an arrow board will measure approximately 12 feet in height when the arrow board is in the upright position. The arrow board should be lowered to 90 degrees and locked when in transport. The TTMA 200 weighs 1,835 pounds with an arrow board and arrow board framework installed. The minimum support truck weight required is 10,000 pounds and a maximum su support truck weight is unlimited. Now let's take a look at the design and some of the major components of the TTMA 200. The TTMA 200 is simple in design, which makes it easy to use, operate, and repair. Many of the com components of the TTMA 200 are replaceable after being damaged during an impact event. These next few slides will highlight most of those components and explain how they work in the process of bringing an impacting vehicle to a controlled stop. The TTMA 200 uses a 3-inch diameter lunette ring to attach to the tow vehicle's standard pintle hitch attachment. The pintle hitch attachment must be rated for a minimum of 8 ton. Depending on the location of the pintle hitch, atta pintle hitch attachment, you may need to adjust the lunette ring to the proper height. The TTMA 200 lunette ring can be adjusted to multiple positions to meet most height requirements. When the lunette ring is attached to the pinnel hitch, this will create a point of rotation during the impact event. 
We will cover this in more detail throughout this training, but it should be noted the rotation is designed and part of the impact process. In instances where the pinnel hitch attachment may be recessed or additional length is needed to aid in turning clearance, a hitch extension is offered as an option. This hitch extension is 16 inches in length and was crash tested, crash tested during our MASH testing. The A-frame of the TTMA-200 is the main energy absorbing and stabilizing component of the TTMA-200. The A-frame, when paired with the patented tube bursting technology, becomes the energy absorber, thus eliminating the need for separate energy absorbing materials such as cartridges. The A-frame offers the connection point to the tow vehicle, as well as a stable base to support a robust aeroboard framework suitable for mounting most standard 4x8 aeroboards and variable message boards. The aeroboard framework also offers an open surface for mounting directional or informational signs. A battery tray is included for mounting a battery box, which is needed when used with solar powered aeroboards. The impact head is the most visible of the major components on the TTMA 200. With its increased size, it creates awareness for oncoming traffic, but also, and most importantly, it provides a safe impacting environment for capturing errant vehicles. The impact head has two 24 by 36 inch reflective chevron panels, which can be customized to meet the specifications of any operation. The standard reflective panel, panel the standard reflective pattern used by Gregory Highway is six inch black inverted V striping on reflective yellow sheeting. The reflective chevron panels are designed to create awareness and of a potential hazard and the driver of the oncoming vehicles. The impact head also includes a light bar, which provides the required lighting for trailers and aids in creating awareness for oncoming traffic. The impact head includes three engaging points for capturing an impacting vehicle. These engaging points can be seen just below the arrows in the photo. The engaging points create a bond between the impacting vehicle and the impact head, preventing the impacting vehicle from sliding laterally across the impact head during a crash event. This limited lateral movement forces the impacting vehicle to properly proceed through the impact zone of the TTMA 200 and begin the energy absorption process of the impact event. This process works with both straight on events and impacts that occur at a variety of angles. The bursting mandrel and first stage energy absorbing tube are the next critical elements in the design of the TTMA 200. The TTMA 200 uses a patented tube bursting technology to dissipate the energy of impacting vehicles. The basic concept is quite simple. When a tapered mandrel with a square cross section is forced into a square tube with smaller inside dimensions, the mandrel pushes against the outside of the tube. Outward force of the inside of the tube concentrates stresses in the corners and creates a controlled cracking of steel. As the mandrel proceeds forward, the tube is split into four flat straps of metal that are curled outward by the flared portion of the mandrel. Tube bursting technology allows the TTMA 200 to use the trailer frame as an energy absorber, thus eliminating the need for separate energy absorbing material. This simplifies the design and reduces the cost of the TTMA 200. Also, the straps of metal have no structural strength and curl up and away from the impacting vehicle, thus eliminating any hazard posed to the impacting vehicle. Furthermore, the straps of metal remain securely attached to the unbursted section of the tube. Thus, there are no detached elements that can be thrown forward and pose hazards to workers and adjacent traffic. The last major component to talk about is the axle assembly, which can be seen here. The axle assembly is designed with two pusher arms welded to the axle. These pusher arms are designed to engage with the impact head as it comes through the impact zone. The U-shaped catcher at the end of the arms engages with the impact head during a crash event and the force of the impact 
disengages the axle, pushing it forward and out of the way so the impacting vehicle can continue through the impact zone. The axle is designed to break away during full-scale impacts and presents no danger to the impacting vehicle or adjacent traffic. Now that we've covered the major components of the TTMA 200, let's take a look at how it works. The TTMA is simple in design and simple in performance. Designed around already successful box beam technology for highway guardrail, the TTMA provides protection of valuable assets at a low cost, high repairability, and exceptional versatility. MASH 2016 has four required tests for crash attenuators. Test 350 is designed to evaluate the impact performance of TMAs during the small car impacts. The test was conducted with the 1100C car impacting the TTMA in the center of the impact head. This test was conducted with a rigidly blocked support truck, providing an infinite support weight limit and zero roll ahead. The small car is noted as 1100C, which stands for 1,100 kilograms, or approximately 2,420 pounds total weight. When a vehicle impacts a TTMA 200 anywhere on the impact head, the impact head is engaged and pushes the bursting mandrels through the energy absorbing tubes, beginning the energy absorption process. As a vehicle continues through the impact zone, the rear of the impact head engages with the pusher arms, which forces the axles to break away. The impact process continues until the vehicle comes to a rest at, at or near where the energy absorbing tubes meet the A-frame. This is the final resting position of the impacted vehicle following a successful test 3-50. This is the overhead view of the final resting position of the same vehicle. This is a comparison view of the pre-test and the post-test vehicles. And this is a frame-by-frame -frame impact sequence in a before and after test diagram of test 3-50. Test 3-51 is the same impact type test, but with a heavier vehicle. The pickup truck is noted as 2270P, which stands for 2,270 kilograms or approximately 5,000 5, pounds total weight. This test is designed to evaluate the energy dissipation capacity of the TMA, structural adequ adequacy, occupant risk and the roll ahead distance for support truck during heavy passenger vehicle impacts. This test was conducted with the 2270P truck impacting the TTMA in the center of the impact head. Test 3-51 was conducted with a rigidly blocked support truck providing infinite support truck weight, limiting and zero roll ahead. This is the final resting position of the impacting vehicle following a successful test 3-51. This is the overhead view of the final resting position of the same vehicle.
This is the comparison of the before and after test vehicles. And this is a frame by frame impact sequence and a before and after test diagram of test 3-51. The TTMA 200 will not always be impacted head on as seen in the previous test videos. There are an infinite number of ways that the TTMA 200 can be and will be in impacted. The MASH crash testing standards are designed to address the most critical type impacts with the most common type vehicles on today's roadways. Test 3-52 is the first example of an offset impact. The 2270P pickup truck seen here was used as the impacting vehicle. Test 3-52 examines the capability of the TTMA 200 to safely, safely attenuate off-center impacts from heavy passenger vehicles. Structural adequacy of the TMA and occupant risk are two primary concerns for this test. This test was conducted with a rigidly block, blocked support truck, providing an infinite support truck weight limit and zero roll ahead. This is the final resting position of the impacting vehicle. It's an overhead view of the final resting position of the impacting vehicle following a successful test 3-52. Comparison of vehicles, pre-test and post-test. And a frame-by-frame -frame impact sequence and a before and after test diagram of test 3-52. Test 3-53 is another critical angle test. This test examines the capability of the TTMA 200 to safely attenuate angular impacts from heavy passenger vehicles. The 2270P pickup truck seen here was used as the impacting vehicle. Structural adequacy of the TMA and occupant risk are the two primary concerns for this test. This test was conducted with a 10,000 pound unblocked support truck, providing a lower limit for the support truck weight and to measure the estimate, estimated roll ahead distance. This is the final resting position of the impacting vehicle following a successful test 3-53. It's an overhead view of the final resting position of the same impacting vehicle. It's a comparison of before and after photos of the test vehicles. And a frame by frame impact sequence and a before and after test diagram of test 3-53. Four tests conducted with four different life-saving passing results. The TTMA 200 remained attached to the support vehicle in all tests conducted and safely attenuated the impacting vehicle to a controlled stop. The TTMA 200 performed as designed, improves the simplicity in design, simplifies safety in work zones. Now that we've seen how the TTMA 200 performs in crash test scenarios, let's take a look at how to properly and safely operate the TTMA. The TTMA 200 is typically delivered fully or near, nearly fully assembled. If there are any concerns with your TTMA 200 at the time of delivery, please contact Gregory Highway immediately.
There are some key items you will want to keep in mind prior to putting your TTMA 200 in service. Please follow these guidelines and consult the user manual for additional detail. Pre-inspection. Check bolts. Check to make sure that there are no missing bolts and the bolts are tightened to the specific torque. Refer to the torque chart in your user manual. Check wiring. Check to make sure that the wiring of the trailer plug for connection to the tow vehicle is appropriate. There are two distinctly different wire plugs that are not compatible. One is the RV plug and the other is the heavy duty truck plug. Make sure that you have the correct type of plug and that the plug is wired properly. Also check to confirm that the lights are functioning properly prior to putting the TTMA 200 into service. Consult your user manual for wiring diagrams and other helpful wiring related information. Weight of the tow vehicle. Minimum and maximum weights of the tow vehicle. The minimum recommended weight for the TTMA 200 tow vehicle is 10,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. This was established during MASH 2016 test 3-53. This test as specified by MASH 2016 did not use a vehicle blocked against forward movement. There is no specified maximum weight for the tow vehicle. TTMA 200 crash test 3-50, 3-51, specified under MASH 2016 were conducted with the TTMA 200 attached to a tow vehicle that was blocked against any forward movement. By these standards, a TTMA 200 can be towed by a vehicle with an unlimited amount of weight. Attachment to the tow vehicle. Check pinnel attachment. Check to make sure that the pinnel hook is mounted properly. Due to the wide variations in frame structures of different tow vehicles, there is not a single standard means of mounting the pinnel hook assembly to the frame of the tow vehicle. The major considerations in mounting of the pinnel hook are the strength of the attachment and the mounting height. The pinnel hook assembly may be welded or bolted to the frame of the tow vehicle. Regardless of the method of mounting or the attachment to the tow vehicle, it's critical to ensure that the strength of the attachment exceeds the rated capacity of the pinnel hook with a, with a wide margin of safety. It is the obligation of the user to ensure that the particular pinnel hook attachment system meets the strength of the requirements. The TTMA 200 is attached to the tow vehicle via a pinnel hook with a minimum eight ton capacity of, with a minimum capacity of eight tons. Verify the retaining pin for the pinnel hook is properly locked to avoid accidental release of the pinnel hook and lunette ring attachment of the TTMA 200. Make sure the TTMA 200 lights are connected to the tow vehicle and are operating properly. Ensure that the safety chains properly secure the TTMA 200 to the tow vehicle. Ensure the TTMA 200 is mounted so the frame is parallel to the ground and impact head has ground clearance of 12 inches plus or minus one inch. Tow vehicle roll ahead distances. We know from test 3-53 that the TTMA 200 and the shadow vehicle that it is attached to is going to roll ahead when impacted. What we really want to know is how far will it roll when it's impacted. When an errant vehicle impacts the tow vehicle with the TTMA 200 attached, it will roll for forward. It is therefore important to allow sufficient space between the tow vehicle and the workers so the roll ahead of the tow vehicle would not pose any safety concern to the workers. The TTMA 200 user manual shows the estimated roll ahead distances for rolling and stationary tow vehicles respectively, as a function of the impact speed and weights of the support truck in impacting vehicle. 
The space between the support vehicle and the workers should exceed the estimated roll ahead distances under the prevailing operating conditions. Consult your user manual for roll ahead charts and examples how to select the proper distance. Furthermore, please refer to the MUTCD for instruction to properly set up your work zone. Additional operational guidelines. Operation of the TTMA 200 is similar to many other trailers. Special attention should be given to the following issues. Verify that the retaining pin for the pinnel hook is properly locked in to avoid accidental release of the pinnel hook and the lunette, lunette ring attachment of the TTMA 200. Make sure that the trailer lights are connected to the tow vehicle and that they are operating properly. Ensure that the safety chains properly secure the TTMA 200 to the tow vehicle. The TTMA 200, when deployed, the entire TTMA 200 should be horizontal to the ground with the impact head clearance to the ground at 12 inches plus or minus one inch. The TTMA 200 does not have brakes. All braking will be dependent on the tow vehicle. Thus additional distance should be allowed for in braking and stopping of the tow vehicle. Do not use the TTMA 200 for hauling. Objects on the trailer create a potential projectile hazard for vehicles impacting the TTMA 200 and workers in the work zone. Tow vehicles should be equipped with headrests, lap belts, and shoulder straps to provide proper crash protection for the driver. Operators should adjust their headrest to contact the center of the head and should wear seatbelt and shoulder strap at all times. Do not attach any item to the trailer or hitch without explicit approval from the manufacturer. Contact Gregory, Gregory Industries technical support for any question regarding attachments to the trailer. This manual does not cover the operation of optional equipment such as aero boards, variable message signboards, and other approved hitch mounted equipment. Please see appropriate operating manuals accompanying these devices for instructions. Maintenance guidelines. Proper maintenance of the TTMA 200 is critical to ensure that the continued safe operation and long-term durability of the device. The outside of the TTMA 200 should be washed periodically, particularly during winter usage, to eliminate salt and other road contaminants. The inside of the frame should be washed annually. The end caps can be removed to allow rinsing the inside of the frame. Care should be taken with the wiring for the side markers during this process. Note all critical parts of the TTMA 200 are hot dip galvanized and require minimal maintenance. The TTMA 200 is simple in construction and easy to maintain. Please follow the recommended maintenance schedule listed in your user manual to provide the best preventative maintenance. This will keep your TTMA 200 in top operating condition and maintain its safety elements when deployed. Repair guidelines. For impacts requiring repair and replacement of parts on the TTMA 200, Gregory Industries offers part, different part packages depending on the extent of damage sustained by the unit. Parts packages are available through Gregory Industries or a TTMA 200 distributor in your area. Damage assessment and repair parts packages. Inspect the TTMA 200 to assess the extent of the damage and the necessary repairs. Due to the simple design of the TTMA 200, damages to the trailers are usually very evident. The TTMA 200 should always be thoroughly inspected to ensure 
everything is in proper working order to, prior to returning it to service. The extent of the damage to the trailer will vary greatly depending on the nature of the severity of the impact. It would not be possible to cover all situations that could potentially be encountered in real world, real world crashes. Thus, the instructions are presented in general terms for the following levels of damage to the trailer. There are four types of impacts. A nuisance impact, no apparent damage to the TTMA 200, typically sustained at five miles an hour or less. Level one impact, energy absorbing tubes are bursted, but axle assembly not detached. Level two impact, energy absorbing tubes bursted, axle assembly is detached, but bursting tubes do not reach the trailer A-frame. Level three impact, bursting tubes reach trailer A-frame, in order for technical assistance to better provide assessment of the TTMA 200, or required repair parts. It is requested photographs be sent via email of the damaged TTMA 200 showing the overall damages, VINTAG, and damages to the specific areas or parts in question. The TTMA 200 trailer truck mounted attenuator has been tested and evaluated per the recommendations of the American Association of State Highways and Transportation Officials, ASHDO, Manual for, Manual for Assessing Safety Hardware, MASH, 2016. The TTMA 200 trailer truck mounted attenuator is a test level three tested device capable of decelerating and stopping lightweight vehicles and heavyweight vehicles in accordance with the criteria of MASH test 3-50, 3-51, 3-52, and 3-53. FHWA Letter of Eligibility, CC-152. Impacts that exceed the design capabilities described in this manual, vehicle weight, speed, impact, an impact angle, may not result in acceptable crash performance as described in ASHTO MASH 2016, relative to structural adequacy, occupant risk, and vehicle trajectory factors. The TTMA 200 carries a one-year limited warranty. Gregory Industries warrants the purchaser against any defects in materials and workmanship of the trailer truck mounted attenuator TTMA 200. Should the TTMA 200 prove to be defective in material and workmanship during the period of this warranty, Gregory Industries will repair and or replace the de defective product free of charge. The period of warranty shall commence on the date the purchaser puts the unit into service and shall remain in effect for a period of one year. This warranty does not cover any failure of the TTMA 200 caused by misuse, abuse, material alteration of the TTMA, or any negligence in connection with installation, service, or use of the product. For proper installation, maintenance, and use of the product, refer to the user manual and the maintenance service checklist. Thank you for taking the time to review this training. If you have any questions, please contact us or visit our website at www.gregoryhighway.com.